Okay guys, we're gonna install the Edelbrock intake. Just kinda of line our holes up a little bit. I'll be using ARP hardware. I'll put a link down in the description for the intake, the hardware, the MSD box as well. I'll do the 6010 and the updated 6014. That'll run the Gen 4s and the Gen 3s with the, was a 58 tooth reluctor wheel. I think this one's a 24 tooth reluctor wheel. So there is a bolt torque sequence we're gonna follow. Um, I'll show you my crew drawing skills. But as you can see, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It will be 11 foot pounds are the torque specs or 132 inch pounds. I'll be doing mine in inch pounds. I'm just gonna run them down with a small impact. I'm not gonna really impact them, I'm just gonna get them started and then we'll go about torquing them. Okay, now that all of our bolts are relatively tight, we will start to torque them in the proper torque sequence. All right, we're gonna go over it one more time. Just make sure everything's torqued correctly. That's all it takes to install the Edelbrock LS intake. So we can make it either carbureted or run just modern TBI, basically like Holly 
sniper EFI, something like that. It's all relatively simple. Like I said, I will, in the description, I will put links down to the intake, the ARP bolts, the MSD box, old and new version. We'll probably just run it carbureted for now. I just bought a AC Delco EP386 fuel pump. Should be able to regulate that down to six PSI until we can get saved up to either run like a Holly Sniper or the Fitech Ultimate LS, which controls the transmission and everything. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.